How are you? Chuck, one, two. Give me a thumbs up, Chris. All right, we are live from Sessions on the River. I'm Jim Fannin. Today we're going bands on the, di on the hour all day, so thanks to the Perpetual Peace Project for coming in early, CD Onofrio, uh, James Durlo, Mark Alamo was just in here, awesome. Uh, Aaron Berger and the Blue Stars, we had him go pick up some product for us. He's bringing the food, thanks to Wellington Court. Amazing, thank you, uh, Dale and Eric Peacock for giving us some food. So. Aaron Berger and the Blue Stars are rolling in shortly, and we're just fortunate enough to have Matt Keegan here today. He's got a connection with the boys in the band. He played, produced, and recorded some of their uh, album, Color and Light. We're going to talk to Matt after he's going to play us in here, and then we'll hear a couple of tunes off your new album. Matt, thanks for being here, brother. I really hey, thanks, appreciate Jim. it. Love you, man. Kick thanks, it. Man. Here's Matt Keegan. <laughs> to be so good to me now you don't even care it's not the way that you used to be baby you're not even there you're not even there the light it burned my eyes I got caught in your glare now the crowd of people, they, they just stand and stare, they just stand and stare, they just stand and stare, I didn't see you turn signals, you turn signals, now you're not even there, I didn't see you turn signals. Accidents happen now No one knows when or where But every life is a journey No one said it was fair No one said it was fair Go, Matt Keegan. Oh, nice song job. Turn signals. Matt come Keegan. Yeah, come on over, sit down here. Let's chat it up. We're going to play a song off, a couple of songs off your album. 
That's Matt Keegan, everyone. Thank you for filling in. We, you know, the boys are running a bit late. So you're seeing on your live stream Aaron Berger and the Blue Stars. That's not actually what's happening right now. So thanks, so Matty. not even up there. No, no, it ain't. Not at this point, but it's not all about that. Well, that's you know, okay. Matt Keegan, thanks for taking the time, man. I really appreciate it. Big fan of yours, man. And thanks, as man. with so many other people, I'm, I'm not sure. I wasn't sure that I was a fan. I didn't know I was a fan. And then, oh, you were the drummer on Color and Light. Not just the drummer, but you helped record and produce. And I was just so taken by Aaron Berger's album. We're not just, you know, the hour to talk about Aaron. He'll be here in a bit. But um, I, I get into these music, these compilations, these albums, and I go like this deep dive. And so I just, it's like a love affair. And then I fall out of love with the one song that I've played and played and played and played and played and then I don't want to hear that one anymore and then I'll skip over it and I'll fall in love with another one so to find out that you had such a big part on one, one of my favorite albums Color and Light is such a cool thing so again I didn't really get until I see oh yeah I did drums on it you're kidding me so and Matt Keaton's my guest uh, wildly talented um, writer performer producer recording engineer dude you're doing it all and you're doing it well you're making a lot of acts sound good in this town for Thanks. a reasonable, reasonable price, I would, I would think. Well, we always want to keep it as affordable as possible and make it uh, good for everybody. You know, I know what right. it's like. I'm in the trenches. You know, yeah. I'm in the same boat as everybody else. You know. Yeah. Now, so. do you have a real job, or is this how you make your money? Uh, I haven't had a job in I don't know 15 years. Wow. <laughs> That's no, cool. I, 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 music is my main, my main thing. It's okay. I don't really know how to do anything else, and. It's a lot of work, but it's mm -hmm. it's the best work. It's thank you, you know, like I'm yeah. I, very grateful to be able to do what I love to do. That's so great to hear gratitude and love. And I mean, that's kind of been the theme today. I kind of set the show up by saying, you know what? This isn't about my shitty political takes, although it will be from three to six. Um, it's more about the issues and it's about the music. And this is about loving each other. You know what I mean? I think that's why we're put on this planet. And I love we, you too, but forget that. You know what I mean? We forget that it's. We're all in this together. We, and I was talking to James and CD earlier. You know, we get caught up in this egocentric mentality. It's all about us and what I can get out of it. And it's very seldom about, you know what? Somebody's in need. Let's just help them out. So, and I think music does that for us all. But tell us about your upcoming projects and anything you might have coming uh, Well, I built a studio behind my house, Audio Mat Recording Studios. And... Uh, I do a lot of work out there. Uh, I teach drums a couple days a week. I produce music, and uh, it's great, man. And um, yeah, like like what you said earlier, constantly recording bands, trying to make them sound as good as possible, give them the best deal possible. Always excited about the project. Really grateful to be able to have such great, talented, uh, you know, artists around me that want to come in and, and work. You know, this place is great. Sessions on the River, beautiful, beautiful facility. Chris is a great guy, you know. The, the, the scene in our area is pretty amazing, in my opinion. It's a, it's a tight-knit scene, you know. Sometimes people from the outside uh, almost uh, feel a little funny because we're so tight. But really, it's not like that. Like, we're very open. But it's just everybody's so close and tight, and it, it's a great thing. Uh, hopefully, I'm making sense here, but... Uh, <laughs> Doing better than the hostess, man. It's all but on as, you. But as far as what I'm doing right now, I mean, uh, producing as much music as I can, playing, performing as much as I can. Um, I'm pretty grateful. Like, I, I drums is, was my main instrument. That's the first thing I, I learned how to play. So rhythm is my strong point. So I get calls to go out on tours and stuff. I've been really, really fortunate to be able to travel all over North America. I went to Europe with with the Mandevilles and... and uh, just doing, uh, other than that, a lot of solo shows uh, in the area. You know, constantly writing. There's a great, great thing that's going on right now uh, in my life, and it's a band called The Ikes. Okay. Yeah, The Ikes. This is and, when it gets good, man. Drop yeah. some new beats on me, man. Well, yeah, yeah. There's some there's some new music floating around, and uh, my, my, my good buddy Mike Mays is in the control room over there, and he's a big part of it, too. He also owns a studio out in St. David's, and uh, the whole philosophy behind the Ikes is, um, you know, it's, we, it's just all done, uh, live, you know, like there's no tracking, man. There's no, like, I mean, we might recut a vocal, but as far as the band tracks go, the five of us get in the, in the studio, put the headphones on and 
each week somebody comes with a song. Okay, it's your turn to bring a song. So you bring a song in and nobody knows the song and we learn it right there on the spot and we play it about 13 or 14 times and then by the 13th or 14th time that's when we press record and that's when things are really happening and boom there's the track cool so there's no time to think you know the energy is insane because all five guys are working towards the common goal there's no time you know you don't say well we'll fix it in post you know like we'll come back and do the bass no 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 no. we're doing it right now no time to think you know you got to play great now and I really miss that in, in you the know. The responsibility of being a team with a common goal, moving down the path the same well, way. Well, that- exactly. Like, I mean, that's the way all our great, all the great records were made. All our favorite albums were made that way, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, they actually played together, you know. And now with technology and this and that, it's like, okay, well, we'll get that. Okay, I got enough takes. Let's piece this together. You know what? We'll come back and do the bass. And then, you know, you get the bass player in the room and he sits down and he's, he's coming through the monitors. And it's like suddenly everything starts to become very perfect, and mm. too much of perfect is very boring. Right, to, you know, and to no me. synergy. Right, you know. So we like the stuff popping and cracking and explosions and this and that. Live and, from the floor. Right, man, and that's 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 what I've been focusing on, uh, you know, over the past eight eight or nine months is the Ikes, <laughs> the Ikes. Yeah. So we the all Ikes. sing the Ikes. Yeah. Well, I thought you said ice. Yeah. I mean, Matt Keegan, myself, I do a lot of solo stuff. I write a lot. I play. I'm always playing. Like, I go out and do a solo show. And uh, But th- this band, The Ikes, is interesting to me. because, uh, And we're just starting to rehearse the album now. So so is that your new project? Or is somebody you're producing? Uh, well, it, we're, it's a collaboration of five okay. guys. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Right. So, uh, yeah, that's what's happening right now. He's Matt Keegan. I'm Jim Fannin. This is the Jim Fannin Show. We're live from Sessions on the River. We're right at the base of the Peace Bridge on the Niagara River. We've got a liquor license here. You can come have a drink, see talent like Matt Keegan. Uh, Matt, we're going to hear some... Uh, what, what do you want to hear off your, off your album here? We've got a track next? Um, you know what? You can put on uh, track two if you want. It's called Toy on a Shelf. Okay. Yeah. Matt Keegan, you got that loaded up, Chris? We're good to go. Track two. This is Matt Keegan off his latest well, it's album. Well, it's the Ikes, but... Oh, the Ikes. I, I, I sing on this particular track, so... Okay. Matt Keegan, local legend. Crank it up. Check it out. You said I was crazy Trying to get this right You've been gone lately Said the audio sides. He said it was over. He couldn't take any more. Now I'm trying to reach you through a crack in the closet door. Don't leave me this way. I feel so alone, like a toy on a shelf. You know a toy needs to play.
Welcome back. I am Jim Fan and live on Sessions on the River. Thanks to Chris Curry for producing and I'm just come on as the talent and hosting it out here. Matt Keaton's my guest. We kill some time for the Aaron Berger and the Blue Stars running late. We had him pick up some. Your favorite there. band. No. Your favorite them. band. I got a lot of them. You know who I'm <laughs> I love them. I love them too. Who man. am I deep into right now? Stereo Sunrise. Oh I'm yeah. Severely deep. But you know, they got a five song EP and about 38 minutes from now, I'll be completely done with it. Sick. It'll go in the drawer and I won't listen to it for six months. And I'll yeah. be insisting they're playing the November show, insisting that they put out a new album for me. Mm-hmm. And then six months later, a year later, I'll pop it back in and I even said to Burger, you know, it's done with color and light. And I went, no, it's all new again, bro, but yeah. it's familiar in this whole new way. So Matt Keaton's my guess as we, we kill some time here. But he <laughs> Just was, killing uh, time. I'm the killing, killing time, time interview. Killing time. <laughs> I feel so. So important right now. I'm just the time <laughs> killer. Here. You freaking musicians are so damn sensitive. Matt Keaton's, Keaton's my guest. Oh, Josh Mills is online. Great tune. Yeah, tell us about the tune we just heard. Oh, Toy on a Shelf. That was uh, that whole concept came up uh, uh, sitting around Mike's bar, bar in his uh, in his studio. There's a there's a bar in there, and uh, you know sometimes I'm on the fence about bars and studios, but it seems to work well at Mike's. But yeah, Toy on a Shelf, cool. that uh, was just a concept that we came up with and it, and it seemed to be fun. And, yeah. it, you know, it kind of wrote itself, you know? Yeah, right. there's a lot of metaphors you can put in that song, yeah. you know, that, that kind of title, right? Now, so. tell me who you jamming with. Like, what are you listening to these days? And we'll talk about the acts that you've helped record and produce and things like that. But, like, who are you, like, deeply engrossed in these days as far as bands oh, music yeah oh man i i i have satellite radio and i just okay. listen to the spectrum it's a okay. station on sirius xm and it's called the spectrum and it's just all over the place right you know Do you late- find a lot of music that because for me it's bell five i'm on 902 it's a adult, uh, adult alternative and so often i'm like oh what's this hit yeah. shazam and then that's my new favorite lick and sometimes my new favorite band for a long time so are you finding music there yeah like oh yeah heard before yeah i'm kind of like that too you know yeah. like wow this is great who is this you know you kind of jump on board you know mm-hmm. but lately i've been listening to a lot of jazz i've been going to harry's jazz bar a lot in niagara falls and i heard you and monday and the boys are all jamming there on, my, on wednesday nights oh man he's getting world-class entertainment in there if anybody likes jazz or just something different god it's he is getting phenomenal phenomenal who are some regulars you jam real, with there real jazz well, I sat in the other night playing drums, and it, well, Randy Sturtzinger was playing upright bass. Uh, Doug Mundy, who's actually going to be here today, right. uh, piano. Um, 
who else? Uh, like they, 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 it's a re- got some horns in there too. Trombone or somebody was playing. Yeah, there was week? there was horn players, trombone players, uh, trumpet players. But it's kind of an open door, revolving door. There's all kinds of great players coming through. It's like there. an open mic jam almost. Eh? On the Wednesdays, yeah. But he okay. holds regular show nights. Like he has entertainment there. Uh, you Wednesday know, Wednesday to, to Sunday. Sunday is it? Right? Yeah. And it is, man, the jazz is great. The like, old Caverly down in Niagara down Falls. Down below. It's really dark yeah, and it's a yeah. nice jazz vibe atmosphere. Yeah. I really enjoy it. Like, we, we're sometimes recording late at night, and then once we're, we're done our session, we'll go down to the jazz bar and just hang out and, you know, have a few bevies and, and, and wind down and just, you know, our ears get refreshed with a whole different sound, you know. Really, it's, yeah. it's nice, yeah. So... I really like Harry's Jazz Bar. Uh, shout out to Harry's Jazz Bar. Yeah, what a yeah. good Clark Bitter and Lisa Bitter. So I've been listening up. to a lot of jazz lately. Cool. Miles Davis and, uh, you know, uh, Kind of Blue and uh, Bitches Brew, the, the, that kind of stuff, which really isn't jazz. It's more like uh, really psychedelic blues, but it's yeah. good stuff. Now tell me about your mentorship. Do you find yourself taking young artists on your wing and teaching them some of the tricks of the trade and giving them a little inspiration or a little constructive criticism? Is that important to you? Do you find you doing that a lot or do you even recognize that you're doing it? Because I see you as that. I don't know if you recognize it or not. Well, thanks, buddy. But, um, you know, what I always try to do when I'm producing music or playing music is putting yourself in the listener's seat. You know, people can get so wrapped up and with what they're doing, you know, they can start romanticizing about certain things, which is a good thing. You have to be excited about what you're doing, but, you know, uh, some people psych themselves out, you know, and it's like, oh man, I suck. I'm not doing, you know, this is not right. Based I'm like, on expectations they feel like they're not living up to? You or? know, they're just too in, in themselves. And I'm like, okay. no, 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 it sounds great. You're sounding really good. Put yourself in the listener's seat. To the listener watching you, they don't know that you, maybe you've, you've, you're not, you didn't quite let that G string ring out the way you wanted it to, or you know maybe that, that line was just a tad flat or something. No, no, they're, they're, they're all about what's happening and watching you, and that's, that's one of the most important things in my eyes when you're recording music is to be able to separate yourself from what you're doing and put yourself in the listener's seat. Well, and we're our greatest critics, too. I think we're hardest on ourselves all the time. Absolutely. And, you know, a couple of conversations already we touched on this. It seems to be difficult for us. We suffer from this human condition in this year of 2016 where we don't celebrate our, even our small successes and go, hey, that's on me. Or that's, you know, I was the vehicle for the spirit that moved through me, but I'm still the vehicle. Exactly. And saying, you know what? I nailed that or I created that opportunity for myself. And give it a little bit of this rather than, you know what, I could have done better and next well, time. Well, you know what, whether you nail it or you didn't nail it, you got up and you showed up and you did it. Perfect. You know, and that's, that's the most important thing, you know, in, in, in my eyes. Like, yeah. Cool. Matt Keegan's my guest. We're going to hear another track off the album. What gigs you got coming up, Matt? Uh, well, I, next week I'm playing... Uh, where am I playing? I have to check my schedule. I'm playing... Website? How can I, I, I find you? Facebook? I have two shows next week. <clears throat> but they're probably just cover shows. Okay. If they're solo shows, like whenever I go out and play a, a solo show, I just stack my whole set uh, with, with originals. Like it's generally half the night. I don't really care. I just play my originals. So I'm not too worried about it. No, you ever get the bar owner come over and you go, okay, enough with the fucking never. originals, man. We need cover tunes. No, N- never. Uh, they fired somebody at Grape and Wine the other day in downtown St. Catharines because they came over and they said, I told you no originals. And they said, well, we mix a few in here and there. No, we want covers because, well, it's Grape and Wine. Everyone saw us up. They want something that they feel comfortable with that's familiar and they can tap their foot to. I, on the other hand, I'm like, wow. Yeah, this is so beautiful. I've never heard it before, and it's original. Like that's genius. Well, in my opinion, I mean, if that happens, then you're in the wrong. I, I don't want to. I don't want to play. Don't yeah. book me again. I, you know, <laughs> I'll just go on to the next thing. Like, you know, uh, Matt Keegan's my guest. I see Anthony Bodding's in the house. Another guy I got a huge man crush on. Sorry, he's never heard that before. Matt Keegan, what are we hearing off this album, Matt? Um, let's put on. Um, well, you know what? Let's put on Lost Mile Road. Last Mile Road, you got this, that one, Chris? Yeah. That's track um, four. Track four. Track four, please. This it's a bit, is Matt Keegan. We it's got a bit of a ghost story. Sorry. Anthony Bonding will be up next. He is a book for wanderers. Thank you to Matt Keegan. Fuck, I love you, brother. Hey, Thank man. you for coming Thanks in, Thanks so man. much, Jim. I'm Jim Fannin. We're live from Sessions on the River. Get your ass down here.
the stage but turn down the lights and the moment we played you helped me make the worst mistake of my life I thought it might get better but each line makes it worse Shed with every word that's read, you know. Sad doesn't even come close. There's gonna be tears. There's gonna be pain, yeah. There's gonna be a lot of things, yeah, baby. chance don't have a prayer making plans that no one understands stuck in this theater of lies make her last scene we'll kiss our last kiss 